World of Wonder Shorts 14 Character Switch Device Character Switch Device By using this device, players can change form to have fun. After changing form, certain actions will be restricted, so it's more suitable as a prank, which can enhance the fun and difficulty of a creation. Let's check it out. Best Gameplay Settings First, find the Character Switch Device and place it down somewhere. Then tap the Editing Panel to select which players to target and what they'll change into. Currently, the available targets include the whole team that triggers the device, individual players that trigger the device, all players or a specific team. The selected target can turn into a companion. After switching forms, actions will be quite limited and you won't be able to go prone, crouch or climb. Since only jumping is available, players won't be able to reach obstacles that are higher than their jump. Therefore, creators need to consider the companion's jump height when creating maps. For example, if the obstacles used are too tall, try to add alternative routes or objects, like the player launcher. Furthermore, players who have changed form are unable to pick up items, so they can't use firearms or toss grenades to engage in battle. When creating maps, creators also need to consider game balance. If creators choose to incorporate combat elements, some protection should be provided to teams who have changed forms. For instance, add more buildings that can be used as cover near the character switch device. Aside from the basic action restrictions, the enhancements from certain buffs and skill devices will also disappear after changing form. Although there are restrictions in place, such as movement, attacks and buffs skills, actions like driving and opening doors are still available. For example, you can drive the Dacia, UAZ, motorcycle and even ride dinosaurs, as well as freely open and close doors after entering a building. Gameplay device uses. Given the same stage requirements, transformed players will have a harder time clearing the stage compared to their human counterparts. Hence, this device is more suitable when used as a prank by punishing the specific team or player. For example, in parkour gameplay, creators can link interactive devices with a character switch device. In the character switch device, you can set the target players to transform. Then, set up the following step. Perform the action, switch character, when after launch occurs. This will make it so that when a certain player gets launched, the target team changes form. You can also place an area trigger device and set it up to revert character when player enters area, to change the team back to their original human form. At the same time, creators should take note that, when a player is eliminated, they will automatically revert to their human form when they respawn. Therefore, if you want to keep the players in their companion form, you need to link the character switch device with the respawn management device and set switch character to trigger when player respawn occurs to achieve the desired effect. By using this gameplay device creatively, creators can add interesting easter eggs as well as provide players with unexpected surprises. Hurry and give it a try now!